We've had our beautiful wide beam now for two and a half years. Today we're diving into a task that we've procrastinated about a bit too long. The not so glamorous world of canal boat toilet filters. But fear not because we've decided it's high time to tackle the smelly job. Join us as we guide you step by step through changing your toilet filters. Let's make your canal boat experience fresher and dare we say a bit less aromatic. Let's get started. Welcome back. Hi. And this episode has absolutely nothing to do with Christmas, even though we've got our Santa hats on. She made me. <laughs> but because <laughs> of the date that is coming out to you, the day before Christmas Eve, we thought we'd be festive. Christmas Eve Eve. Christmas Eve Eve, as we like to call it. We even yeah. got the mince pies. We do. Yeah. Look at that. Yay. <laughs> Hungry now. <laughs> So, if you've been watching our channel for a while, you know that we have a normal pump-out toilet. <laughs> you could say that we're useless. Then. Yeah. <laughs> well, that as well. <laughs> um, and we've also got a composting toilet. Um, and a couple of weeks ago, we did a pump-out. Yeah. As we hadn't done one for probably about a year, because <laughs> we also have the composting toilet. But we do... Festering. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, festive. Oh, OK. <laughs> but we, um, so the, the um, normal pump-out toilet is, does still get used, um, like if we've got visitors over. Guests, really, isn't it? Guests over mm, yeah. on occasion. Um, if we can't be bothered to faff around with the compost loo, then we'll it's use it It's just one night, well. isn't it? Yeah. Um, and I took a little bit of footage earlier because I know we've talked about having a compost loo, but we've prob I don't think we've ever really shown it 100% apart from when we were building it. So, mm -hmm. no, a compost toilet, in case you're wondering, is really it's a separator toilet. So you separate both wastes. Um, and <laughs> one bit... <laughs> Um, so awkward. It has, uh, goes in the back and one bit goes in the front. And, uh, yeah, that's basically a composting toilet. Um, we were amazed when we first got it because there was absolutely no smell and we thought there would be. We just used cat litter um, for the number twos. <laughs> Richard can't cope with this. <laughs> um, and um, it's because the wastes are separated. Apparently, it's the, the act of, like, when you go to the toilet, it being in the water and both um, mixing, that makes more of a smell. I'm trying to be serious I know. <laughs> So anyway, a while back we, um, we sort of realised when we, well actually it was when we were doing our um, aerial, wasn't it? Um, chasing it through the ceiling, etc. Um, and we had to take things apart that we thought, oh, Ooh, do you know what? We've never replaced the filters on our the breather system filters yeah for our pump out loop yeah. and actually when it's been sat for a while and then it's flushed um it can get a bit stinky can't it yeah 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 they're not working they're not working what the the, the filters the filters yeah. no um so that is what we are going to do today <laughs> yay finally <laughs> replace our filters that's a nice christmas job yeah, I guess. Is it a wee job? It's a wee job, yeah. Yeah, or one yeah not poo, wee one wee. poo job, actually. It's me, me, isn't it? Not <laughs> wee wee. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's give it a go. <laughs> so, this is our dressing room, and first thing we need to do, we're hoping that actually we don't have to pull everything out. Um, Rich has already done, undone that screw in the corner there. Done there. there. And we need to undo this screw and hoping that we can get to the filters quite easily by just removing that panel. It's quite fast getting this panel out there. Yeah, okay. We thought we were going to have to fight with it, but... And there they are. Oh, fab. So the next question is, 
Is there enough space to get to them? Get the lid off. We shall find out. Oh. Mm. So there's one lid. So literally the tops just screw on. See. Undo the tops. There is a rubber seal under these. Right. So they're, they're a bit tight. They are actually a bit smelly, aren't they? Oh, I want to smell it. A I don't sniff? Want, no, I don't want to smell it. <laughs> well, it will be, won't it? It's... Yeah. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried about this. How many is that? Okay, that's empty. There's that many. Six. Is that six? Six. Yeah. Ooh, weird. Do you think it'd just be one great big fat one? Well, you, the good thing is, if it was one big fat one, you wouldn't get it out uh, where they true. fitted it. Mm. So six individuals is. Not too bad. No. What are you doing, just wiping it around with some tissue? Yeah, it's a bit damp in there. I think it's condensation. I'm hoping it is. <laughs> what? Oh, don't smell it. <laughs> just don't stink. <laughs> what? I can't believe Remember that time it. when it got a bit full? Yeah. And then you kept using the loo and then you flushed it and there was a big bang. Yeah. And we were like, uh oh. <laughs> Maybe we've blown the filters out, but it looks like they're okay. Here's the new ones. So we've got a full set of new ones. We've got two sets because we've got two filters. Do you know why we've got two filters? No. No, me neither. So it's got two breathers. Yeah. Um, uh, um, where did you get these ones from? Uh, Marine Superstore. Okay. And they're Vetus, aren't they? They are the proper Vetus yeah. ones, yeah. And um, they're quite expensive, aren't they? They were £51 for two sets. Right, okay. So, but the immense change is every year. Yeah. And what are we now, two years? At least. Yeah. Two and a half. Two and a half years. <laughs> but again, Oops. it's, you know, they're, they don't. Oh, they're, I can't believe you're smelling them. Well, I'm just checking them. They do <laughs> smell actually. Do they? Yeah, they stink. So oh. that's probably why that we, oh, I should have probably worn gloves. But. Yeah. I would personally say definitely use gloves if you're going to do this because you're not too sure what you're handling. But Richard's a dirty mechanic, so it doesn't. Oh, matter! <laughs> <laughs> now, th these are the individual carbon filters, aren't they? Yeah. You can get a canister. All right. And so you take all these out, bin them, mm. and you just get one canister this shape with a hole in it, and you peel the lids off the box. Peel the ah. bottom off, peel the top off, put it in and slot it down. Right. Job done. But they uh, they were £50 each. Oh, wow. Yeah, and they only last the same. Yeah. So you'd have to change them every year. And then you've doubled the price. Yeah. I think they're a bit better, but there's nothing wrong with packing these in, is there? No. Blocked, the other one is. Yeah, so the one on the right is the new one, which has got that loads one. of holes. And the one on the left is the old one. Blocked up. Yeah. So I know that was another case of the Royal Wii, but that was actually a lot easier than we both thought. It was going to be. Well, I thought I might have to take the unit off yeah. and undo them and lower them down in case they were too high. Yeah. Now, the canister upgrade, I wouldn't get in. No, you wouldn't, no. I wouldn't be able to get it in the hole. I'd have to take it all off, but that doubles the price. Yeah. Um, the only thing I will say is they were, they were a pain to find the right ones. Oh, okay. Because um, there's two different filter sizes. There's large and small. Oh. I know. And it's like, how do you know which one you got? Yes. Yeah. How did you find out? Well, literally just by looking at it and measuring how deep it was. So I had to measure the size the last time we came in. Ah. And then I found the size on the Vetus website mm. of the unit. 
to then discover that that was the large one. Ah, so we've got large. We've got the large filters. There you go. Yeah, and if you put that number down on the bottom, it makes life a lot easier for everyone. Oh, okay. So if you've got the large, I'll pop so, the um, the product number so that um, that makes it easy if you want to. Yeah. So I'm assuming. I shouldn't assume because no. you never know. But you would hope that if you had a Collingwood wide beam, they'd be the same. Yeah, but, but you don't know what no. they fitted at the time. Very true. Um, and what also gave it away is the pipe coming up to the bottom of it is the Vetus pipe and it's got 38 written on it, ah. which is the big 38 mil pipe. Right. Which meant we had to have the large filters for that to fit. Huh. So, but if you, can, if you can see the filters and you can see the big green cross on the lid, then yours are the large ones. And these, this filter number that we put down will fit. Ah, yeah. So. Save you a lot of hassle. Yeah. <laughs> I went through for <laughs> weeks. Yeah. <laughs> so somewhere in your manual, you will have the handbook for them. Oh, okay. So we, I saw, and I have no idea where it's gone because I've searched that thing, but I'm sure I saw the leaflet and the handbook right. on the filter specs. Ah. And it should have listed it in there, but I couldn't find it for love nor money. No. Because you moved around my man drawer, didn't you? Yeah. Reorganised it. Yeah. Probably means you throw it away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>